And then we're going to do the same calculation for Medicare wages. So we will add those two up. Okay, so that's going to be, and hit something funny there, I'm not sure. So 2812.23 plus the 4182.74, that's the 699.497. Uh, again, that's going to differ from what we have here because we see this rate of 0.029, which is really twice the rate that we typically would probably know, 0.0145, because it's both the employer and employee portion. Therefore, if we take this number and divide by two, we're gonna get the 3,497, which is the number we want, the 3,497. These are the numbers that we can generally reconcile in most cases. Now, there may be some reasons why these numbers would differ, and if there were, we'd want to make a reconciliation and know exactly what the differences are so when questioned if questioned which we quite possibly could be uh, by the irs in terms of a, some type of audit we could uh, give responses to any kind of differences between the w3 and the 941s remember once again that we're, we're talking about we only had two 941s here because it was our first year of operations our first year of payroll and we only had two quarters if we had four quarters we would have to add up the four quarters then we're having the form 940, which we can't tie out as neatly with, with the other forms, the W3 and uh, the W2s. Why? Because the W3s and the W2s are employee taxes, and uh, this form is an employer tax. And they don't tie out also to the quarterly forms, the 941s, because those report different taxes. They report federal income tax, Social Security and Medicare. So the 941s do report some employer taxes, their portion, the employer portion of Social Security and Medicare, but doesn't report the employer tax of FUTA. This is the only tax form that re reports the employer tax of FUTA. We can, however, look at the uh, total payments for all employees, the total compensation, and try to reconcile that in some way to the amounts that are on the W-3 and uh, the 940. It may not reconcile exactly to uh, any particular box. It'd be closest to box, uh, to the Medicare box on W3, but it could differ by a cafeteria plan. But we, we can reconcile that difference and know what the difference would be between the total payments here and uh, the Medicare calculation on box three of the W3. Uh, twos and the w3 and box three of the w2s and the w3 would of course also reconcile to adding up the 940s which we just did on uh, box 5c in part one